One of the things I absolutely love about this time of year is that the sun is up when I wake up for work and that's just like one more thing that makes me feel joy in the morning. It's now currently 727 so I am running slightly late. I'm checking my sleep score. This is saying I slept for a total of 6 hours and 55 minutes. I'm feeling pretty tired. home it's currently 5 15 i'm gonna change really quick and then start cleaning my bathroom last week was very much so focused on healthy habits if you saw the video you know this week i'm focusing on cleaning my home so today's wednesday i'm planning on cleaning my bathroom maybe vacuuming the bedroom and vacuuming my office i filmed a little bit of my cleaning from monday and tuesday so i'm gonna insert those clips now Today is currently a Monday and it's actually 7, 10 p.m. So I'm thinking about starting with the kitchen. The floors need to be vacuumed. The countertops need to be wiped. I just kind of need to clean up a little bit around here. This is a brand new sponge and I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally picking up so much dust off the countertops. That is so gross. to vacuuming now. For those of you who also have nine to five jobs, I'm so curious, do you have like a cleaning schedule? Do you clean everything all at once, like on one day, I guess during the weekend, or do you split it up between the whole week? I honestly kind of go back and forth on what I would prefer. I don't really love the idea of cleaning a little bit every day, but at the same time to dedicate a whole day to clean also sucks because you're spending like one of your days off work cleaning. So I don't know. I'm curious what you guys do. Okay, so the counters are looking clean. The only thing is I still have dishes in the sink to wash and I also wanna clean out the microwave. I'm just taking this completely out of the microwave and washing it in the sink. Welcome to day two of me attempting to clean my house during a busy work week. I'm gonna be honest, I have zero motivation right now, but because I'm filming this, I know that you guys are holding me accountable. It's currently 6.15 and I have a call at 7 p.m. So I have 45 minutes to get as much as I possibly can done. We are starting with the guest bathroom. We had a guest stay recently and I cleaned a little bit, but I didn't really do a deep clean. So it is in desperate need of that. I'm planning on wiping all the counters cleaning out the sinks, cleaning the toilet, and then probably vacuuming and maybe mopping the floor. Okay, so the counter, the sinks, and the mirrors are all clean. I try my best to not use chemicals as much as possible. However, when it comes to cleaning the toilet, that is when I do use chemicals. So I'm just going to use some all-purpose spray and some paper towels to wipe down this toilet. My least favorite chore. So I lightly cleaned the tub and now I'm gonna finish off by vacuuming and mopping the floor. Just 
like that, the bathroom is done. 30 minutes later, actually about 35 minutes, it's now 6.54, so I have six minutes before my call. I look like I'm a mess. The call just ended, it went really well. These are three girls that I'm actually going on a trip with soon. We're all going to NYC. Well, one of them lives there. We're having a little like girls weekend thing there. I'm so excited. It's crazy like that I've been able to meet people through like being online and like through social media. So, and they all have YouTube channels. I can link all of their channels down below. We're back, I'm changed, and I'm ready to start cleaning my bathroom. Honestly, I have no motivation, but it's gotta get done. So hopefully watching this video gives you motivation. Can you see how dirty my makeup mirror is? This has not been washed in a hot minute. I'm exposing myself, but this is so gross. So I did a quick dusting of my bedroom, the loft, and my office. I didn't film most of that, but I am gonna finish off by vacuuming my bedroom and probably my office. And then I need to go make dinner. Welcome to my office. I'm about to vacuum the floor in here, but Loki, I wanted a little break, so let's chat. I wanna make it a goal to decorate this office by the end of the year, which I know gives me a lot of time, but I am such a procrastinator when it comes to home decor. It doesn't come natural to me. It's not my strong suit. My entire office is just very, very blank. I have a desk, I have a rug, I have a chair, I have a walking pad, I have a mirror, and I have a bookshelf. And that is pretty much every single thing in my office. So I need to make it more of a point to browse Pinterest and try and gain some inspiration of what to do. I'm also pretty minimalistic, so I feel like I'm okay with the plain vibe in here, but I also want it to feel cozier and like I actually use this room because believe it or not, I am in here most nights out of the week. I don't know, but if you have any ideas or recommendations for what I should do with my office, please let me know. I just found out that the camera that I ordered is arriving tomorrow. I am so excited. It is now 7 p.m. I'm trying to decide what to make for dinner. I'm thinking something with potatoes because we haven't had that in a while, but I'm not sure what else. You guys, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I've been standing in my pantry for the last like 10 minutes just trying to figure out what to make for dinner. <laughs> honest with you guys for a second. I'm honestly feeling really down, unmotivated. Like I literally just want to do nothing. I like to be open with you guys when I'm feeling this way because I know that it's normal and that other people feel the same. I know it would be easy to just continue filming and pretend like nothing's wrong, but at the same time, I want to be human and I want to connect with you guys in a way that's much deeper than just surface level. So I am being vulnerable and just letting you know. I don't know. I just, I have no motivation to do anything. I am going to start my period next week. A lot of times the week before my period, I do start to feel more down, in the dumps, unmotivated. So I'm thinking that might be it. But yeah, so I don't know. This is just how I'm feeling. The last thing I wanted to do tonight was cook dinner. So it was really sweet that my husband started helping because he could just tell that I was not feeling it. The fact <laughs> that I was just standing in my pantry for like 10, 15 minutes trying to figure out what to cook. He walked in while I was doing that. I just like, <laughs> word vomited on him and I was like, I can't do this. But here I am, I'm pushing through it. 
sorry for the sudden mood change in this video. <laughs> I'm overthinking, I feel bad. Like I want you to watch my videos as like an escape or something that helps you enjoy life and that brings you happiness and joy and stuff. But at the same time, I also wanna be real and share that I'm kind of just in a funk right now. It happens, it's normal, <laughs> it happens. Also, I know I've talked about it before on my channel, but it's been a while and that is just nine to five burnout. If I could, I would choose to not work a nine to five. And maybe it's just because I'm in the office and I'm not fully remote, but it like just completely drains me and I don't enjoy it. But I also know that I need to just tough it out right now and do what I need to do for the time being so that I can set myself up for reaching my goals and dreams in the future. Which is why like I'm working so, so hard on my YouTube channel because I want this to be my job one day. But yeah, for the time being, I'm just trying to live in the moment and enjoy the nine to five process as much as possible because I know that it is temporary for me and it's not gonna be my life forever. I also know that this period of my life is such a grind with working and then YouTube and all of that. So I know that in the future, I'm gonna look back at this period of my life and just look at it in awe and be so grateful for it. And so since I know that future me is gonna look back and think that way, I wanna think that way while I'm in it. Kind of like how people say you don't realize you're in the good old days until you're past it. And I want to just fully know that and fully be present. I know I definitely went off on such a long tangent just now and I'm so sorry that this sausage was getting so loud. So if you didn't hear me, I apologize, but that's kind of where my mind's at how I'm feeling right now. And yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say. The potatoes are still in the oven cooking, so while they're cooking, I'm gonna take a quick shower because it's already getting late and I wanna give my hair a chance to dry. I also have a call at 8.30. It is 7.57. I need to take a quick shower, eat, and then get on the call by 8.30. Whew. Time for a little update. It is currently 9.47 and I just got off the call. I actually called with another YouTuber. Her name is Alex Ray and I will link her channel down below. You guys should definitely check her out. She was so, so sweet. I just am so grateful for even just being able to connect with other people that have YouTube and being able to make friends that way. Like it just blows my mind. I feel like my night has completely turned around. As I was saying before, I definitely was in a bit of a funk, but after talking to her, it has definitely lifted my spirits more and I feel so much more happy and just like calm. So I highly recommend chatting with a nice person or calling a friend if you are ever feeling unmotivated or down in the dumps. Right now I'm gonna go downstairs because I have a lot of cleaning up to do from dinner. Finishing the night with my skincare and then getting myself to bed. I feel like I definitely overestimate what I can do in the evening after working nine to five. And then when it actually comes down to it, I get like half of the things done that I want to do. But that is just real life. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.